Now to that uh, jailhouse interview, uh, Hawaii fugitive Randall Saito says he escaped to California when it became clear that he was never going to win his freedom. KPIX 5 reporter Maria Medina is live in Stockton with more on what he had to say. Maria. Yeah, you know, he actually was candid. He was articulate and intelligent. He says, you know, he had nothing to lose. His plan was to be out here for four weeks. He lasted three days. In a jail jumpsuit at the San Joaquin County Jail, Randall Sato talked freely about almost everything. His escape, his 72 hours of freedom, and the murder he committed. The woman I murdered in 1979, God bless her soul. I have regretted it every day since the day it happened. Sato's been at the Hawaii State Hospital on Oahu since being acquitted by reason of insanity in 1981. On Sunday, he casually walked off the property, took a charter flight to Maui, and then hopped on a plane to San Jose before making it to Stockton. Instead, he says he escaped to prove hospital staff he should be released. And the only reason why I did it was because I was desperate to have some kind of existential proof, undone, unequivocal proof that I could be in the community without messing up. So I could go back to Hawaii and say, you know what, you guys said all this crap about me. Now what do you got to say? At one point, Sato even appears to look for sympathy. Why would you do this? But prosecutors say not only did Sato randomly kill a woman, he used her body for sexual pleasure. Today, Sato denied that. There was one thing Sato didn't want to discuss how he got the money to escape in the first place. And one of the other things he also talked about was that he admitted to having relationships with several hospital staff in Hawaii. He's expected to be in front of a judge tomorrow in San Joaquin County before he's uh, extradited back to Honolulu. Back to you. Yeah, Maria, did he say why Stockton? Why did he go there? Yeah, you know, he has family here in Stockton, but he told us, you know, he didn't call them until after his arrest. He had plans to go to Reno, Nevada, but he says he had no real reasons why he was heading there.